Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am super excited to share with you what I've been up to for the last two months, which has basically involved renovating my RV, who I call Winnie. She's a 1990 Micro Warrior, um, a Winnebago built on a Toyota truck. And I've been having a blast doing all kinds of renovations to her. And in this video, I wanna show you the before and after. I'm not completely done. There's definitely a lot more I want to do, but I feel like she's at a good point where I can live in her now if I want to. Uh, I can keep working on her. I can kind of just refine as I go. So take a look at this video and I'll show you what I've done. So here's Winnie. You may have seen this footage before from my previous video, but this is what she used to look like. And I have always had this dream of living in an RV. I love small spaces. I love the idea of just getting down to the essential, but campers tend to have this crowded feel to me. There's so much going on in them and sometimes they can be dark and gloomy. And so my idea with Winnie was to really take out everything but the essential and to put in what I wanted for my ideal home. So first step was demolition and basically took everything out of there and that took quite a while and looked pretty haggard at the time and then after that I got to start building which was the really fun part and luckily I had a lot of great hands to help me out. I got a really great deal on Winnie and part of that was because she had a lot of roof issues, a lot of water damage. So. I redid the roof. I put in these pieces of angle iron on the side, two by threes across the top, and then slipped in sheets of plywood above that to reinforce the roof. And I also put in a couple of skylights to add light. The top of the roof to the outer part needed some loving, and so along with my dad and our friend Kerry, they helped so much with everything, but with the roof especially, taking care of that because leaks were a big issue. Then we went on to the floor and I put down this bamboo flooring with my sister and um, we had a really good time with it. Oh yes I can, you little W. Can you, are you taping that? Hmm? <laughs> you didn't have me to go. It was a lot of fun and the end result is pretty beautiful. It's one of my favorite parts of Winnie. Yeah. Then I started working on the walls. We put up this masonite over the walls. One of the big problems with Winnie is that you can't um, just like nail into her or screw into her. You have to kind of glue everything up and then secure it on. So that made it interesting to do a lot of the construction projects. But my sister Danny is a carpenter and she helped a lot with that. And here she's building the kitchen area, the big um, counter, which is at desk height for me, and then cabinets underneath. That's just a shot of the bed, which my dad helped a lot with. We completely reinforced it. And yeah, as you can see, we had lots of helpers helping out. Definitely wouldn't have been able to get it done if it weren't for all the help. This was a lot of fun. Um, my sister and I were up really late one night sewing the curtains, which we did um, Velcro. We'd, we got some fabric and we basically Velcroed them up. It was a late night project, a lot of fun. Did a lot of work on the plumbing. My stepdad helped me with that project. And we ran into some trouble because a lot of the plumbing tubes, the pipes are discontinued. So we had to kind of improvise a lot. That's a shot from the closet. And this is a shot uh, underneath the truck. We had to re repair a hole in the gray water tank. And this is present day Winnie, a vast improvement over what I was working with before. Uh, there's still some things I wanna do. I need to finish the walls, do all the finish work, the trim. I need to do a lot of caulking. Um, but the basic structure is there and she feels really good. There's so many things that I did to her with the help of my family and friends. A lot of details that I won't go into in this video. It's been pretty amazing to experience her transformation going from having just like a <laughs> encroaching sort of feeling being inside of her with all the cluttered space and not a lot of natural light and just the smell, you know, from the carpet and 
and everything that had been in there during her long life before she got to me, and then kind of opening her up into my pretty ideal living space. I got a chance to live in her while I was at the Woodstock Fruit Festival for two and a half weeks, and then also on my trip down from Austin, uh, to, from Rhode Island to Austin, Texas, and it's pretty amazing. I'm excited to have the time to sort of relax and do some work and kind of work on Winnie at a more leisurely pace. Thank you all for your interest and support. It's been so exciting to share this journey with you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.